it's a shame that the um, current medical benefit does not truly benefit the ape and the aunties. For example, if they need, they need denture or tooth extraction, these are not covered in the medical scheme. Furthermore, the current uh, bus service is inefficient. For example, if you want to go from Pasir Ris to Topayo, the buses will bring you round and round to three major estates like Sengkang, uh, Pongol and Bishan before it reached Topayo. By then, it would have clocked in two hours when, when it should actually be only one hour to reach Topayo. So this service, the buses which the government has bought, I feel is benefit the operators rather than the commuters. And uh, because of this, I strongly feel that the men in the street, like Desmond, should be in parliament to voice out our grievances. To reduce healthcare costs, the FDA is advocating a fully liberalized Medisafe scheme where Medisafe funds can be used without caps to pay for hospitalization, outpatient charges, and private insurance coverage. On transport, the party is pushing for a more liberal transport sector to encourage more competition for tenders. The Singapore Democratic Alliance presents this manifesto to the people as part of our plan for Singapore towards building a Singapore for Singaporeans. The issues that we wish to tackle in the manifesto are as follows. Number one, the population white paper. Number two, the CPF and retirement. Number three, housing development board. Number four, the cost of health care. Number five, the public transport system. Six, employment. And number seven, education. Ladies and gentlemen, please support Singapore for Singaporeans. Singaporeans first policy. Singapore Democratic Alliance. Thank you.